Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about BIM courses available in Fanshawe College versus in George Brown College. A lot of you have asked me personally about making a comparison video between Fanshawe and George Brown and this is exactly what this video is about. So without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. So guys, first we will go over the course overview of both the colleges. First, let's get started with Fanshawe College. Fanshawe College, first of all, it's located in Ontario itself and it's in London. And the course is of one year. The total cost of this course is around $17,000. This course does not have any co-op option included in it. And now coming to George Brown College. George Brown College is located in Toronto, the outer area of Toronto, but uh, the cost of this course is around $28,000. This is also a one year course and guys, it has a co-op option included in it, which I always prefer. And guys, now let's go ahead and go to the course comparison. I will compare both the courses side by side and give you an overview of what these courses are about and which course will be better for you. And finally, we will conclude with which college will be the best decision for you. Okay, guys, so let's get started with the comparison of both the courses side by side, what all subjects they will be teaching and what you will get out of it. So let's get into the details. So first in Fanshawe College, we have BIM technology, then software, BIM software integration, BIM management, advanced professional communication, integrated practice and AEC sector. So compared to what we have in George Brown College, we have BIM management, BIM pre-construction visualization, BIM Revit architecture, BIM uh, Revit structure and MEP and BIM civil, civil 3D. So here the main thing that we can see is first they are teaching in Fanshawe College. They will be going over your uh, Revit training, your basic BIM Autodesk training and software trainings. And in George Brown College, they will be teaching you BIM management, which is again the overview of BIM, how BIM functions, how the interface functions. So they will be teaching you that and BIM software integration in Fanshawe College. That means uh, they will teach you how collaboration is done, how Revit collaboration and how linking of model is done. Here we have pre-construction visualization. It's basically how a BIM plan is drafted what goes into drafting of BIM plan. So this will be something that will be taught in George Brown. Then BIM Revit architecture, basically they will teach you Revit in depth and all those things. And uh, here also you have BIM management, then advanced professional communication. I don't know why you need to have advanced pro professional communication in a one year course where it's a uh, hardcore BIM course. Uh, I don't know about that, but in George Brown College, you have Revit structures and MEP. This is good for all the uh, professionals coming from civil background or mechanical or electronic background who want to go into BIM. So this will be a good um, way for all of you to uh, perceive BIM. Then I have BIM Civil 3D. This is also very important. A lot of companies are using and the requirements are pretty high uh, for BIM Civil 3D software. So this is a key component for all the civil engineers and structural engineers out there uh, that will help you all in George Brown College. Uh, next, going to level two, that is semester two. Here you have BIM integrated project capstone. So basically you will be having similar to what we have in George Brown College that is BIM implementation and strategy, but you can go down and see there is a, a capstone project. So it is similar to what they will have later into that semester, but it is similar and it is kind of intersecting. They all have similar subjects, similar topics, but they have just shuffled it into a different way. And uh, Fanshawe College, you have BIM management too. Again, they will be teaching you how documentation is done, how BXP is formed. If you don't know about BXP, I have made a previous video about BIM execution plan. So you can go ahead and check that out. It is even called BEP. So don't get confused. Uh, next is building energy modeling. Here also in George Brown College, you will have project planning. Again, I have went over this 
into a different video in in depth but it is basically planning of your bim project how you will be scheduling it how you can visualize that schedule and everything uh, then you have building in uh, building energy modeling similar to that we have in fanshaw college but here you can see clearly uh, george brown college has a lot more projects a lot more subjects and a lot more focus on software and bim is mostly about documentation and softwares and how you can collaborate between them and how you can form a seamless bond between your documentation and your actual work that is going on your site and on your softwares uh then you have bim capstone project here you have uh, in fanshaw college you have practical implementation of bim so it is kind of similar where you will be given a project and you will be working with your group and everyone will be having different work sets model management and you will be working on that project to make something or you will be working on a conceptual project that will be given you by someone coming from a uh, professional industries or coming from government agencies but here in these both cases in fanshaw and george brown college i'm not sure who will be coming and what kind of projects you will be getting i know about the uh, algonquin college they do invite professionals and government representatives to have certain projects given to the students so this is something that uh, takes george brown college on a bit upper level and uh, then you have bim 3d scanning uh i don't see similar subject in fanshaw college 3d scanning is also very important part a lot of bigger scale companies are going for 3d scanning and point cloud data model management and all those stuff so this is something that is covered in george brown as well uh in fanshaw college it is not covered practical implementation of bim i went over this digital presentation in construction so is basically final project presentation and here in george brown college you have field experience field experience is basically they will be preparing you for the field experience and in semester 3 in fanshaw college you don't have semester 3 semester 3 in george brown college is mostly online they will be teaching you about uh construction business management that is again online course and then leadership and ethics of uh construction managers that is also online so while you will be doing your co-op you will be going through these two subjects as well so i feel overall george brown college the course has a lot more potential to it and uh, let's talk in detail like why i would prefer george brown even though the fees is more and uh, not fanshaw college i'm not against any college no college is paying me for this but uh, we have to see the details and we have to see all the pros and cons of both the colleges so let's talk about that in detail so guys as you saw george brown has more subject and more focus on softwares and specific mep and structural field so all the people who are coming from civil or structural or mep background i would say uh even though george brown is expensive go for that and even for architectural students and architecture students i would say george brown is better just because of the co-op option that is available and uh, one more very important thing that i wanted to discuss with all of you is about the course starting date like when they started this course so george brown college started this course way back in 2010 or 2012 so their course is actually very much mature they have more industry professionals working from their college into the industry so you will have a lot of alumni base that is out there in the industry and a lot of trust builds up in the industry about the course quality and course standards and what kind of students pass out from that courses so in that way algonquin and george brown college are kind of on par Uh, a lot of industry professionals are working with a really really good firms over here in canada so you can definitely opt for that fanshaw college is not a bad college if you have a budgetary constraint or if you have your relatives living in london and if you feel comfortable going there it's not at all a bad course but george brown course is better so my final verdict is 
if you can stretch yourself a little bit if you want to have a co-op and i would say you should should go for a course that has a co-op so i would say go for george brown and guys this was it for today's video i hope this video gave you an insight of what i think and what is important here in canada and if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel i do need your support a lot and to all the people who are supporting my channel i am thankful to all of you for all of your support so have a good day guys take care of yourself